Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is auto scaling and how to use auto scaling in Azure. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and I'm going to deploy one custom template to uh, to do this lab of uh, auto scaling. Well, auto scaling is a built in feature of cloud services, mobile services, virtual machines and websites that helps applications perform their best when demand changes. Well, as we all know, performance means different things for different applications. Some apps are CPU bound, other memory bound. For example, you could have a web app that handles millions of requests during the day and none at night. Auto scales can scale the services by any of these or by custom metric we define for every app. So I am on to the custom deployment template here. If you want to do it with me, you can also deploy one app and but this will help me to do it. So this is I'm creating a new resource group. I'm going to give uh, the east name I'm going to click on here and I'm given this name and I'm going to click on purchase and as soon as I click on purchase it validates the custom template and then it would do a validation check and then it would finally deploy it it says deployment in progress I can click on it and can see the deployment Okay, I'm going to pause this video till the time it's done and I'm going to come back and continue with this lap. Okay, so this is done and uh, let's say you go to Azure Monitor and you click on here. And here in you under settings click on auto scale click on auto scale here and this is your app service plan if you would have a virtual machines or anything else that it would also list here okay because I only have this resource it is listing only this resource here and you can do it you click on it you can rather than going on from Azure monitor you can also directly go to this app service plan and click on auto scale settings I'll show you it says man, uh, manual scale maintain a fixed instance count so if I want to auto scale it let's say if I want to from one instance count that it is currently running under the app service plan for my web application I can do it to two and I can come here I can click on save this is auto scaling I'm just uh, increasing the number of count here and doing an auto scaling here. Let's say I want to set up custom auto schedule wherein it does not require any manual intervention or manual effort from me. So what I do is I click on auto scale here. Okay. And I, the auto scale setting name, you can do it, give it anything of your choice and the resource group that it is selecting is your uh, the one in which this application plan resides and it says uh, scale mode uh, what what would be the scale mode do you want it to scale based on a metric or scale to a scale to a specific instance count let's say I'm gonna go with the uh, with the metric so I'm gonna add a rule here for this app service plan what I'll do is As soon as it comes up I'm going to add a rule okay so metric source is my current uh, resource which is my app service plan and I'm going to do the time aggregation here so average I'm going to take it average time here so what it does it it says this is the aggregation method used to aggregate the sampled metric for example time aggregation equal to average will aggregate the sampled metrics by taking the average of the time 
and the namespace would be standard and metric name let's say i want to scale this web app on the basis of the cpu percentage or memory percentage or any any other metric so i'm going to take cpu metric i say that the uh, dimension values all instance all and i say if the cpu percentage of this app service plan is greater than 70 percent and it lasts for five minutes so let's say for five minutes my uh, cpu percentage goes up uh, goes up uh, from 70 percent then i think that uh, it would be the the wisest thing as an application owner it would be to auto scale it to these number of size or these number of metrics so 70 as soon as you see that my cpu for my app service plan is 70 you for it and it is continuing to run 70 percent of cpu or above that for five minutes increase the count operation would be increase the count increase the percent decrease the count or blah 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 then i would say increase the count instance count in, uh, count by one so in addition to two there will be three counts and let's say then the app the, then the uh, cpu percentage comes down now it is below 70 and my app is running normal you still have to wait for another five minutes to make sure let's say you can give it 10 minutes so you if it's running below 70 uh, percent of the cpu for another 10 minutes after it has recovered then you decrease the count it will be decreased so you click on add okay then i would add another const uh, then the maximum i would have to also change i have to take it to five if i want to make sure that uh, uh, current count of the instance that is running is two as soon as the CPU percentage goes below goes beyond 70% it will be increased by one the total would be three for it to have a limit as well so minimum instance count that would be run to handle my app service plan is one you can do it to two as well and the maximum it can go to is five so you have to define the setting very specifically because to increase the count the instance count by one it should also have the maximum count as well right so as soon as you would do it you do it you click on add scale condition okay if you would see the al uh, add the scale condition then it would scale up your uh, instant limits as well so here in here as well you can add a rule specifying your metrics or if you want to uh, scale it on the base of a metric or scale it on the specific instance count you can add multiple conditions as well so here i will do okay if uh, the cpu percentage is uh, less than or equal to 70 and it is duration is 10 minute then decrease the count of the instance count by one and i would add it and I can add different scale condition as well after it I would add save and that's how the auto scaling condition would be entered into my uh, app service plan and you can also scale it on the basis of schedule you can uh, scale differently on specific dates as well by adding a condition in here you can change the value as well so this is what is meant by auto scaling in the Azure you can do it from uh, the Azure monitor you can directly go to that app service plan or virtual machine I hope this was informative for all of you guys and if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section I'll and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye